Mega Evolution. First introduced in Generation 6, the phenomena of Kalos went from something everyone was pretty skeptical of to being asked for every time a new game comes out. And while it's not like Mega Evolution has been trapped in Kalos per se, every mainline title, Legends, etc. has been nominally missing Mega Evolution from at least the main game. Which naturally begs the question, what if Paldea Pokemon could Mega Evolve? Oh, and hey, real quick, I didn't know whether I should be the one to break this to you, but if you watch this channel, if you're a fan of Pokemon and Digimon, you like anime. It's not true. That's impossible. I'm sorry, but it's true. But don't worry, there's a cure. Anime figures. What? That's the bit we're going for for the sponsor, is it? All right, good. Ah, uh, yes, today's video is sponsored by ZNTCG. If you're a regular watcher of my Digimon videos, you'll be familiar with ZNTCG right now. They are Digimon fans through and through who have a ton of Digimon goods. But if you're not looking for Digimon stuff, don't don't you worry, because did you know? Zenin TCG has got a plethora of anime items now. Introducing Zenin TCG's prize figure anime merch. But what are prize figures? Well, they are exclusive figures that you get from the catching machines in Japan. And through their hookup, Zenin is able to get it to you first, as most other stores worldwide will only be able to get these items a month or two later. From popular recent anime series like Chainsaw Man, ReZero, Tensura, Jujutsu Kaisen, and My Hero Academia. To classic anime like Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, they have it all. And they're opening up pre-orders for the newest anime series too. So if you're a big fan of anime, and I think pretty much all of you are, Zenin TCG has got you covered. But let's sweeten that deal a little bit. Because when you shop on Zenin TCG and use my exclusive code, carnex 5 off you will get 5% off all anime figures from Zenin TCG. Now that is a sweet deal for your anime addiction, you sicko. <laughs> Thank you to Zenit TCG for sponsoring this video and let's get to those mega evolutions. All right, first we have the box legendaries, Miraidon and Karaidon, who I enlisted the help of some guy 944 to mega evolve into Mega Miraidon and Mega Karaidon. What I thought worked for mega evolution for these two was to really tap into their ride Pokemon potential. Throughout the whole game, you get their ride upgrades via the Herpamistica, but they basically only present one trait at a time, either flying, walking, swimming, etc. So I thought it made sense if the Mega Evolution brought out all of those traits at one time, which you can see with Mega Karaidon. He gets a much more prominent front tire that is now spiked and really great for going across all kinds of terrain, and those wings are on full show. In addition to that, he has much bigger claws, and now the webbing is much larger and across all of his digits, making him an even faster swimmer. Though as his handles have become permanent wings, it may actually be harder for his trainer to hold on. And as I said, we had a similar idea for Mega Miraidon. However, Mega Evolution also brought out much more of that cybernetic and electric element to Miraidon. It did indeed puff out his large wheel-like front, but rather than manifesting the old style wings that Miraidon has, his jet booster legs are now turned up to maximum, meaning he can freely fly at basically the speed of lightning. This Iron Serpent is hyper-tuned up, like the most efficient F-Zero style bike you could ever think of. Then we move over to Armor Rouge and Seru Ledge, the Scarlet and Violet, almost pseudo legendaries. They're not pseudo legendaries, but they feel so connected to the version exclusivity in the same way that Karaidon and Maraidon do. Anyway, for their mega evolutions, I got Soru to create Mega Armor Rouge and Mega Seru Ledge. The Violet Pokedex for Armor Rouge says that it is a Pokemon that clad itself in armor that has been fortified by psychic and fire energy. So Soru took those elements of its psychic fire, possessing this armor, and ramped it up to a hundred. A ferocious baked kiln of a warrior, fully expressing its psychic and fire energy. Similarly, Seru Ledge's Violet Pokedex entry states that the old armor is steeped in grudges, which its mega evolution taps into again, creating a much more threatening aura, with much larger blades and these creepy arms slash wings flowing out of the back. With both of these Pokemon's armor seemingly belonging to someone in ancient times, that kind of ancient power, uh, not that ancient power, bursting forth feels appropriate. And and to tie it all together, yes, for their Mega Evolutions, Armor Rouge and Seru Ledge are actually Rouge 
and Cerulean. All right, let's get to the starters. I think the thing that disappointed me about Terrastalization, and this may change with the DLC, is there weren't special forms for certain Pokemon, like Mega Evolution or indeed even Gigantamax. We did eventually get unique Gigantamax forms for the Galar starter final stages in the DLC, so I'm hopeful we may see a Terrastal transformation for these, but in the meantime, let's Mega Revolve them. And we begin with Quackwaval. Quackwaval is supposed to be a carnival performer, so I pitched its Mega Evolution to Dry, Dry once again designing water monsters, to be an extreme carnival performer. So Dry created Mega Quackwaval, tying specifically into Rio de Janeiro's Carnival and Samba, and the idea of the Caros Allegoricos. I'm sure I butchered that, but it basically means parade cars, which are enormous extravagant cars where performers stand during the parade. Therefore, Dry made Quackwaval its own car in many ways, a thick cluster of feathers at the hip that Mega Quackwaval can control like like two mechanical arms. This also focuses in more on its fighting type because it gains two additional arms with which to beat its opponents fabulously. Moving over to Meowscarada, it appears to be based on the idea of a magician and possibly also a rogue, with its speed and dark typing probably a reference to sleight of hand, and indeed its signature move Flower Trick confirms that. So I wanted to tie in those ideas, a magician you might see during a street performance or a masquerade ball, and got dry to create Mega Meowscarada. This mega evolution gives Meowscarada a much bigger flower cape to work with, to enable it to do more sleight of hand and maybe even disappear into the night. In addition to this, its mask is now much wider, resembling that of a masquerade ball, but also any magician you might see, like for example the masked magician himself. But a little touch I wanted to add is that in its original art, Meowscarada only has one flower bomb, but I wanted the mega form to have four. And that is because, as you may have noticed by now, each of these represents a a suit in a deck of playing cards. The heart, the spade, the diamond, and the club. This mega magician getting four times the flower power and four times the damage with a full on magician theme. Really like that idea. And finally is Skeledurge, who has a lot of inspirations. There's elements of the Nile crocodile here, as well as Skeledurge resembling a singer, such as an opera singer or maybe even mariachi. This is compounded by the fact that his little bird seems to be on a microphone, especially noticeable during attacks like its signature move, Torch Song. And there are also Day of the Dead vibes. So I ultimately decided that Dry should make this Mega Skeledurge. We keep those fiery, crocodile, and singer vibes, but go one step further. The fire is now exploding out like hair, but also eyebrows, contributing to an overall opera singer look. However, its tail has now become a guitar, enabling it to perform even more ferocious fire and ghost moves. A combination of an opera singer and a mariachi, but also with firm connections to Dia de Muertos. And you could even see the fiery hair is also being wings, which makes it a little bit more like the Cocoyona. Cocolona? Cocoyona? I tried finding pronunciation guides for this and the internet is barren. My deepest apologies. We wanted to keep this Pokemon more naturalistic, and so dry turning its tail into a guitar I think really worked, because I wanted the guitar to be in there, but not feel like far-fetched holding its leak, you know? But that is it! These are all the mega evolutions we have created for Paldea. Though we may do more in future, I just felt these were kind of the signature box Pokemon, version Pokemon, and of course the starters. But if you want to see any others, let us know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite of these pieces of art, and go follow all the artists on Twitter, but of course, be respectful about it. Don't be a kid. Thank you for blowing up the Violet Paradoxes video, by the way. That went from a very badly performing video to one of my best performing videos of this year. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to my sovereigns, It's Elementary, ZDK14, and Jmon. Plus, all these wonderful names you can see on screen right now for supporting this channel with their hard earned money. Don't you want to be one of them? Don't you want to see this video before everyone else? I guess not this video, but the next video. Supporting the channel supports me, supports artists, makes the whole new world we live in. Pokemon Alright, I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye-bye!